15th year helping with the Marion County Election Board. We never turn away a voter. I take a great privilege and an honor to, to do this. And this year, he sees a growing need for help. Yes, we really need poll workers. It's just a difficult, long job that not a lot of people want to do. Brianne Delaney works as the director of election for Marion County. There's definitely a heightened sense that, um, that I guess I could say like something might go wrong. She's referring to concerns based on false information about the results during the last presidential election. The poll workers are aware of what's going on and have been asking questions about things like guns at polling site, what type of um, you know, political gear can people wear. But as you also see here, everybody's really happy and excited to help. Delaney reassures they have yes, enough yes, to yes, staff yes, at least yes, a couple of people at each sure. polling location this November 8th. With more poll workers, it certainly makes the day go smoother and takes the pressure off the poll workers that are already at the location. But she says the hardest part is finding someone who can dedicate a 12 hour day for little pay like Taylor. Yes, yes, ma'am. Mr. Evans was over there. It's a team effort to help every Hoosier voter do their civic duty. Early voting. And that includes Governor Eric Holcomb. And by the way, it's easy and uh, just makes you feel good when you're part of it and, and you can express your voice in a number of ways, one of which is volunteering, the other is, of course, voting. And if you don't, you're not part of the process. So I would encourage everyone to do your part. And thank you for early voting. <laughs> to Taylor, poll working is his way of serving his community. And it's a seasonal duty. He hopes others will join him for years to come. Proceed to the table. Working for you, Megan Shen, WRTV. Uh, so big picture, certain voting locations have all the workers that they need, but other areas of the city need your help. To sign up as a poll worker, go to the website pollworker.indy.gov. Do your thing. Let's talk about the big numbers as well. Clerk positions pay $100 for Election Day. Training for that position is this weekend. Please keep that in mind. Inspectors earn $200 to run the precinct. Now, all those positions are full, but they're looking for backup inspectors. On Election Day, your schedule starts at 5 in the morning and will go all the way through 7 in the evening. Voting in person is November the 8th. You can go to vote.indy.gov to find the closest voting location near you, Indiana. Don't forget to vote.